Well, we all love a good romantic comedy that make us <laughs> laugh and cry and just feel a little better about the world. Sort of, because they're really cheesy most of the time. And Valentine's <laughs> Day weekend, the, the marketing kind of writes itself. Exactly. Right, it does. And not only is this a romantic comedy, it's a romantic comedy about romantic comedies. Was it worth it? Take a look at Isn't It Romantic? St. Valentine's Day may be over, but love is still in the air, at least for Rebel Wilson. As a matter of fact, she's encompassed by it. After years of renunciation, she suddenly finds herself at the center of one of the romantic comedies her mother taught her not to believe in. Just a little perk from a big concussion. But is it such a bad thing to finally be loved and respected after a lifetime of neglect? Isn't that what every woman dreams of? Maybe that's just it. She's a little too aware that all of this isn't real. Therefore, she can't truly appreciate it. But she sure does try. Isn't it romantic is quite predictable. Then again, it's supposed to be, because it's following the rules established by the rom-com genre. About the only time it gets original is when Natalie returns to the real world with a new sense of self. But can a film really be recommended based on the last 10 minutes? As the old saying goes, too little, too late. So the Lee Moji is a Lee Noji. But still, strong points for a redeeming conclusion. On the discretionary front, just be prepared for some language and sexual material. Nothing more than the PG-13 rating warrants, but more than likely there will be an edited version of this on television next Valentine's Day. So I say, hold out for a home view, where it will probably play much better. So as long as you're not paying ten dollars for it, it's okay. Save, save your coins. Well, you know, I think I think Rebel Wilson is just the type of person where the only leading roles she will get are movies like this. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I, I think uh, her agent wouldn't say this, but I think she ought to do what she does best and steal movies from the sideline. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and of course, I hate leaving you with that Lee Moji. Yeah. Uh, but you know, after 13 years of doing this, this is actually my final review. So it's oh. with a very tearful Lee Moji that I leave you with. So we're gonna miss you, Lee. We are, Lee, and we love Thank your movie you. reviews. You have steered us right and steered us wrong <laughs> so often. Uh, there's so many movies that I've seen, like right Sh Shape wrong. of Water. I went to see just because yeah. you said oh, it was okay. a really good one. Good. There's good. been a lot yeah. of those. And I've heard you say you enjoyed Lion. I enjoyed Lion. I loved Lion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So can we still look you up the next time that there's some movies that we oh, want to uh, get reviewed? Please do. You can give us a personal please. review. Oh, please contact okay. me <laughs> on Twitter. I'm Lee under underscore O underscore Smith. So please let me know. All right. Thank you, Leo Smith. Thank you, sir. It's thank been a pleasure. You, Lee. I, and I liked it. You said, is it a, is it a, it's a noji, not it's a noji. noji. <laughs> right. That oh, movie is a noji. Um, all right. Stay with us. We're going to have another check of your forecast when we come back.